you don't have to learn but you need to know the basic things first of all okay but still i will take it on monday so monday will be our last class okay every one of you and you want to attend any other day in between sunday so everyone differences between standard and advanced agents what are the differences first of all processing wise processing wise what is the difference between standard and advanced agent when do you go for standard agent it is used for work object processing that is for that is called transactional processing standard agent used for transactional processing advanced agents are used for non transactional processing so when i say transactional processing what is the example suppose policy activation an insurance policy you want to activate so you complete up, up to approvals in the workflow the next flow shape in the approval of the workflow is did we discuss this standard agent we worked on it or we did not work on it queuing item and all worked on it right okay so policy activation like this any further work of processing you take it into standard agent so advanced agent suppose r cable process so r cable process r cable process means you are going to tag the backup of the data into another table and free up the source data you are going to r cable it some place okay so r cable process and emails regular emails every day i want to send emails so for that i can go for there is no work of it involved in this just find out active accounts send an email okay you can go for advanced agent so now so standard agent when you go for aqm standard agent with aqm uses prpcs auto queue management technique what what we call it technique or something prpc is auto queue management facility or whatever it is okay so that means when standard agent wakes up when a standard agent is going to wake up first it will look at the queue table and suppose queue table 10 10 uh, you have 10 entries with the status scheduled for this agent so it is going to execute the activity 10 times suppose there is no queue item then it will go to sleep directly okay when the standard agent wakes up it looks at the queue and if at all there is any queue item then only it will execute activity otherwise there is no queue item it will go to sleep so but advanced agent once wake up it will directly execute agent activity agent activity it will directly execute agent activity okay so without bothering about queue see if you look at the agent mechanism agent rule form there standard agent you have aqm check box advanced agent also you have aqm check box see advanced agent is been given with a provision to use aqm as well so standard agent is going to use prpc is defined aqm whereas advanced agent when you apply with aqm queue mechanism has to be designed by developer queue mechanism has to be defined by developer means 
if you select the checkbox of AQM on advanced agent, it will not use AQM feature PR SISQ stable. It will not monitor. If it monitors, there is no meaning of standard advanced. We can make it one only. Check or uncheck. That's it. So standard agent, when the agent mode is standard and you select AQM, that is going to look at the queue table and process the queue items. Advanced agent, if you select AQM, then you have to implement your own queuing mechanism. Means you design the complete queuing mechanism. Means you have to design one table on your own. Okay, you have to go ahead with the method queue for agent and modify the same to create another one to queue the items into queue for agent activity, modify it to create another activity where when you do queue for agent, it should insert the queue items into new table that you have created. Okay, this queuing mechanism you have to implement on your own. Okay, next thing is see in gen general in production agent rule will be deployed on multiple servers in production for an application you have multiple servers agent when you deploy on production four servers it will run suppose every day morning seven o'clock i have given so now when you deploy this agent on production four servers four servers it will wake up now your agent is going to have four different uh, go going to run on four different servers server one server two server three morning seven o'clock agent will wake up now four threads it will create so now seven o'clock all this will go ahead and look at into the agent queue table so queue item one is being picked by agent one what about the second one what happens now immediately the first agent on server one agent is picking the queue item prpc acquires a lock on this Next, suppose agent on server 2 is going to try for the same queue item. What happens? Same concept, work of it locking concept. Like, okay, it is been locked. Okay, it will go to next step. So, PRPC will prevent. So, this mechanism of locking is been already defined in the PRPC's AQM. That is available when you apply standard agent with AQM. So, when you deploy standard agent in multi node environment, so this locking of the queue item as well as suppose you use obj save the commits of transactions all these will be taken care by prpc saq mechanism okay transactional commit all these will be taken care by prpc and locking of the queue items will be taken care by prpc so in a standard agent standard agent with aqm queue item locking commit of transactions will be taken care by PRBC coming here advanced agent we have to implement okay advanced agent with AQM applied we have to implement our own queuing mechanism our own queue mechanism and then locking and transaction command should be done externally by us we have to write the code for that okay now coming back to standard suppose consider a scenario Standard agent I have deployed on four servers. Okay, AQM. So this is working fine. Advanced agent without AQM. If I deploy on four servers, so my requirement is I want to send email notification to active accounts every day morning seven o'clock. Now this is advanced agent. Advanced agent I have deployed on four nodes. Morning seven o'clock, advanced agent will wake up on four nodes. There is no AQM. So what happens now? On node one, agent is going to send emails to customer. Node two, it will send or it will not send it will send node 3 it will send node 4 so each customer how many emails receiving four emails so now how would you prevent this so you need to make sure when advanced agent is deployed without a game when advanced agent is deployed on multi node environment make sure it should run on only one server remaining three servers you have to disable it stop it okay so you can go to sma you have four nodes Three nodes you open it and then stop the agent from SMA. That is one way. There are different ways. I will tell you about that. Okay. So, open. so advanced agent 
स्टैंडर्ड एजेंट प्रिफरेबल टू रन ऑन मल्टीपल नोट बिकॉज एवरीथिंग वी हेव इज विल टेक लॉकिंग एंड ऑल so one q item processing another one is not going to do the same work again okay but advanced region preferable to run only on one node in only on one node oh, what is the next difference this this one clear this point everyone okay so next you look at here in the agent role form i'll save this one first off if you open the agent role form records agent <coughs> some of some agent i am going to open see security tab you have access group right when you are going to use standard agent standard agent will not use this access group then standard agent runs on requesters access group while processing queue item so i will tell you now suppose queue item 1 is been placed by manager queue item 2 is been placed by user user access group is different manager access group is different so when standard agent is going to process first queue item the activity will execute right that activity will be executed on the access group of manager that is the access level will be taken second time second queue item is processing second queue item is been inserted by user so when it is executing activity now it will run on the access group of the user so standard this is how it is designed standard agent is going to run on requesters access group while processing the queue items whereas advanced agent there are no queue items advanced agent runs on access group specified in agent role form in the agent role form what is access group we specify on that access group advanced agent will execute whereas standard agent is going to run on the access group of the requester who puts the item into the agent queue this is clear so these are the main differences between standard and advanced region clear next